Thanksgiving is upon us. So we're taking a look at some notable pilgrims and Native American superheroes. All on today's edition of Mask and Cape. Hey, Internet of America Young. And I'm Kevin McShane. It's that time of year again when we Americans gather together to give thanks for all of our blessings. So we thought we'd give thanks for some of our favorite pilgrim and Native American superheroes. Starting off with perhaps the most famous Native American superhero, Apache Chief from the Super Friends cartoon. Apache Chief could speak to animals and grow and shrink to any size just by saying, Enoch Chuck, Enoch Chuck. Coincidentally, the character Long Shadow from Justice League Unlimited is directly based on Apache Chief. Also in the 1960s, DC introduced Flying Stag, aka Super Chief, a Native American hero who protected the country during the 15th century. Thanks to a mysterious meteorite, Flying Stag had superhuman powers and started a heroic legacy that continued into the 21st century, when it was revealed that the meteorite was actually an artifact from Krypton. Pretty cool. Next up, Turok. Son of stone, dinosaur hunter, whatever you call him, Turok is a pre-Columbian Native American who became trapped in an isolated valley populated by dinosaurs, aliens, and demons. First published in the 50s by Western Comics, Turok was rebooted in the 90s by Valiant and was the hero of an excellent Nintendo 64 game for McLean. In the 1980s, Marvel introduced the patriotic team known as the Force of July. Led by major victory, the team featured a female pilgrim named Mayflower who could manipulate plant life and was just the cutest. She's dead now. In fact, they all died in terrible, violent ways. Moving on. And finally, in 2003, the Marvel series 1602 reinterpreted Stan Lee's famous heroes as Europeans in the early 17th century, when the New World was still being explored. Keep your eyes peeled for a white man named Rajaz, who was raised by Native Americans and throws a mean shield. Spoiler alert, he's Captain America. It's a fun series with great art by Andy Kubert and was written by Neil Gaiman. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We hope you have an incredible holiday. Speaking of holidays, Mask and Cape will be taking a holiday hiatus for the next couple of months. So we just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Be sure to leave comments below to let us know what you're hoping to see in the new year from us. And we'll be sure to check those out. We're so grateful for you and your involvement and your support. So thank you. We'd also like to take a moment to thank everybody behind the camera who helped make Mask and Cape possible. Um, our producer, uh, Tom Gray, all of our other producers uh, since we started, um, Ben Gili, Ben Holly, uh, Scott Nogus over at uh, Vuguru, everybody here at uh, Go Potato Studios, and of course, my lovely co-host, America Young. And my co-host, Kevin McShane, not, not to lovely. mention... Not lovely? Okay, that's fine. Well, I thought you'd just rather, like, just co-host. Fine, like, sure. Like, you just own it. Not to mention the granddaddy of us all, which is Stan, Stan Lee. Lee, of course. So thanks so much, guys. For Stanley's World of Heroes, I'm Kevin McShane. And I'm America Young. And this has been Asking Kate. Thanksgiving is upon us. So we're taking a look at some of the notable pig pilgrims. So we're taking a look at some notable pig pilgrims. I know that word, you guys.